<laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Kendra Rommel with James Wong of Maxa Design, who originally started out as a stranger and quickly became a friend and a um, professional partner. So let's talk about that, James. Let's let's tell the world how we met. <laughs> sure. So this happened back like three years ago, right? In San Diego. I was there... <laughs> to meet with a client. So this is client, they're at this coaching event in San Diego and they're like, meet us here. You can pitch us your product there. I was like, okay. So I drive all the way down there. I drive with my surfboards, my wetsuit. I'm like ready to go like <laughs> hang in San Diego after this meeting. And I show up, the guy that I end up meeting uh, was really, really just awful of a person. I didn't really didn't <laughs> care for him at all. He was rude and he just like kind of left me there. So I was like, well, I'm here. I might as well walk in and or sneak in and just like see what what's all, what's it all what's all what's it all about. I emphasize the word sneak. He really did sneak in. I didn't find this out until later. I wouldn't condone that behavior for the record. So I'm walking around this vendor fair and mm. you're there. And I'm like, oh, she's she seems cool. Oh, private money. I think you know, I could possibly show this, uh, what we're doing to her. So but the funny thing is, I didn't really like tell you what I was doing. I kind of just like stood all. around you and just like talked to you about random things. <laughs> and I could tell you're like, what does this dude want? What does he <laughs> run, want from from me? And I was like, she's cool. I just talked to her for a little bit. Plus everyone else seemed um, not as cool. So, oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> and, and, and so we just talked and then eventually I was like, look, I want to show you something, not here obviously, but um, I'll reach out to you and we'll, we'll set up a time to meet at your office. Couple things. <laughs> what he left out. So clearly there's two sides to every story. I'm standing there and manning the civic booth as a sponsor of this event that he snuck into without paying attendee fee, <laughs> not knowing this at the time. I start talking, thinking he wants to engage because he potentially is investing in, pre in, in, in real estate. Yeah. And as he's talking and we get into an hour long conversation because I go nowhere except stand there all day. So <laughs> I'm engaging with a person. I'm thinking this guy's nice, cool, good background. I finally say to him, so what can I do for you? <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out that I, all I extract from this hour and a half conversation other than he's cool and it's been great blowing an hour and a half of my booth time with him <laughs> that I really need to connect him with my marketing department. Well, he follows up with me about a week later and he insists upon coming to my headquarters because he wants to talk to me about this private money company that he's going to launch. I'm thinking, interesting. Uh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> I was doing that. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we meet at headquarters, my uh, civics headquarters. And um, what he pitched to me was not a, a, at all what he was going for. <laughs> Although he was taking in information, what we ended up doing is going through Maxa Designs. And a light bulb went off and I thought, this is something we could use as a marketing department who was very young at the time. And um, we were spending a lot of money on marketing. And I thought we could eliminate bodies and make this a one-click uh, process while we figure out our branding our messaging um, and the content that we wanted to put out to each and every one of you. So in that, James was introduced by myself to our marketing director and um, immediately hit it off because obviously he's not a very likable person. And um, <laughs> so anyway, we started using Maxa as an organization and um, by no way is this an endorsement, but rather like this crazy friendship was built off of because this guy basically hopped the fence of an event. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, you know, the real message here is the craziest relationships happen in the most unscripted ways in our life. And that's really what this these interviews are about is really like connecting the world with people and the relationships I've built um, that I feel like everyone should value from. <laughs> <laughs>